What's up guys? Today I got my hands on another new, exciting, powerful mini PC from Minis Forum. So this is the UM890 Pro. Roll the intro. First of all, inside the box, you will find. So we've got a user manual, we've got a metal VESA mount and a bunch of screws so you can mount this PC on the back of your monitor. We have a power cable, a small power supply, and I'll give you a close up of the voltage information. So you can see it's a 120 watt power supply. Just getting an HDMI cable. We've got what looks like an internal adapter. You can see the connection there. Last, but certainly not least, the mini PC itself. Let's talk price. This mini PC is currently priced at around £635 for the 32 plus one terabyte version. You can also pick this up in a bare bones version for only 465 but it comes with no memory or internal storage. Now let's quickly run through the specs. This mini PC is powered by the AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS which features 8 cores and up to 16 threads with a base clock speed of 4 GHz and going up to 5.2 GHz turbo. For graphics we have the integrated AMD Radon 780M. Now for RAM and storage we have 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM and that is dual channel 5600 MHz RAM. Also the RAM is upgradable and this mini PC supports up to 96 gigs of RAM. Now for storage we have a 1TB SSD, it's a 2280M.2 NVMe PCIe Gen 4 and you can swap that out for a 4TB if you like and there is an additional spare M.2 SSD slot so you can stick in another 4TB if you need to. Other specs we've got Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, dual 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, Windows 11 Professional comes pre-installed, activated and ready to use. And this mini PC supports quad 4K display output. Talk design, this mini PC is made from a combination of plastic and metal. So the top part is made from plastic and so is the bottom base. And the sides are made from metal and you've got metal mesh grill on both sides as well. Minis Forum logo on the top. If we check out the ports, you can see we've got a reset hole, a headphone slash microphone combo jack, USB 4 port and it's a full featured port and it does support display out. We've got two USB 3 ports and a physical power button and you can see stickers there for AMD Ryzen 9 and AMD Radon graphics. If we keep going, nothing on this side but you can see right through the system there with large vents. On the back we've got two more USB 3 ports, display port 1.4, we've got another full featured USB 4 port and over here it's covered but if I show you it there's supposed to be an Oculink port but it's just hollow. So that explains what this is. So that means this thing is actually an Oculink adapter and we're definitely going to try and install this. HDMI 2.1, we've got two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, power socket and an exhaust vent to dissipate heat. If we keep going, nothing on this side and that brings us back to the front of the mini PC and here's a quick look at the bottom. All right, so time to check out the internals. So the top comes off quite easily and it's held in magnetically. We've got a fan cover and we've got two Wi-Fi antennas, which you need to be careful of. Four screws to open. So let's get on with it. Okay, four long screws have come out. Now we should be able to lift this off from both sides. So you can see the two Wi-Fi antennas that you do need to be worried about. Okay, on the other side, there is another ribbon cable to make things a bit more difficult and that's the power cable for the fan so you need to be careful not to break that so the best thing to do is remove that fan cable so we're going to try and do that now there the fan cable did come off it was easier to remove that fan cable than to remove the antennas off the stickers so over here you can see two crucial branded memory sticks they are both 32 gigabytes each giving us 64 gigs altogether and you can remove them both and add 48 gigs per slot giving you a grand total of 96 gigs. Over here you can see our one terabyte Kingston branded SSD that's the M.2 NVMe SSD and there is a spare slot there if you wanted to put another SSD but we are going to actually install the Oculink. I guess they give you a choice. You can install this Oculink port or you can save it for an SSD. I'm going to go for the Oculink. So let's take this screw off. So I've seated the card. 
just going to screw it on to secure and that is it we have an oculink port so those were the easy upgrade options and you can see we now have an oculink port awesome stuff so here we are at the Windows desktop and this is the full version of Windows 11 Professional with access to all the default Windows applications and of course the Microsoft App Store where you can download all your favorite apps and games. Now let's check out the system properties. So you can see some of the specifications here. AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS with Radon 780M graphics, clocked at 4 gigahertz, installed RAM 32 gigs, it's a 64-bit operating system and you can see here it's Windows 11 Professional and if we have a look at the activation information you can see it's activated and ready to use. Next up system storage info we have one terabyte of internal storage from which we have 952 gigs free to use and I've not installed anything yet this is what you begin with. And the second drive you are seeing is my 128 gigabyte flash drive containing all my 4K samples, which is exactly what we're going to be testing next. So let's go ahead and play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how it performs. The first video, high bitrate 4K jellyfish demo, that's 160 megabits per second, and you can see it's playing back superb. I also tried the 180 megabits per second video sample and you can see that also playing back nice and smooth and even the 400 megabit per second high bitrate jellyfish demo played back really well. So high bitrate 4K played with no issues. I also tested out a bunch of 4K60 samples across different HDR standards and file formats and everything works perfectly straight out of the box using the default media player. I didn't need to download or install any additional codecs to make these work. All right, so moving on to the YouTube streaming test, starting off with the usual Costa Rica clip, and I can confirm YouTube does support 4K60 with HDR. Virtual worlds, what are they gonna look like when will we get there? And summer break's just a few days away. We should do something. All right, so moving on to gaming, and the first game we're playing is GTA 5. Resolution is set to 1080p. I've got the graphics maxed out to maximum RT and you can see we're achieving just under 30 frames per second with the TDP peaking at around 55 watts. Now if we drop the graphics preset down to very high you can see the frame rate boosting to just over 70 frames per second. So as you guys can see this game is playing very well. Alright so next up we're playing Black Myth Wukong 1080p resolution and I've got the graphics preset maxed out to cinematic mode and you can see we're achieving just around 26 frames per second. And to achieve better frame rates you need to drop the graphics preset down to high and then you'll get close to 47 to 48 frames per second with the TDP peaking at around 60 watts. Alright so now we're playing Robocop. Resolution is 1080p and the graphics is maxed out to high. And as you can see, we're achieving an average of 45 frames per second, and the game looks and plays very well. All right, so that takes us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench single core score 2616 and multi core score of 13127. And in 3D Mark Time Spy, overall score 3400. And in 3D Mark, Fire Strike, overall score 8,023. And in the Antutu benchmark test, this mini PC achieves 1.04 million. So let's see how this compares to the other mini PCs of this year. So here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2025, showing you the latest mini PCs and seeing how they compare with each other. Now all mini PCs are ranked by Geekbench multi-core scores, so higher the score, faster the PC, and therefore higher it ranks on this chart. For those people who are not bothered about benchmarks, I've also given each mini PC a rating out of 100, based on the overall features, specs, and performance. So you can see exactly which mini PC is the most powerful and which one is the best in terms of overall rating. So based on that, the Minis Forum UM890 Pro takes position 6 on this chart with a Geekbench multi-core score of 13127 and I've also given this mini PC an overall rating of 94 out of 100. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure and completely free of charge. So there you have it guys, that was the Minis Forum UM890 Pro and here are my thoughts. 
So this mini PC delivers strong overall performance thanks to its powerful Ryzen 9 processor, making it well suited for productivity, multitasking and more demanding workloads. The integrated Radon graphics are also impressive for a mini PC, offering smooth performance for everyday use, AAA gaming and media tasks. Oculink support is a standout feature allowing for external GPU upgrades and giving the system a clear performance upgrade path. Connectivity is excellent with USB 4 and a modern I.O. selection alongside support for multiple 4K displays. You get fast DDR5 memory and dual NVMe SSD slots, which ensure quick load times and responsive system performance, while the premium compact metal chassis feels solid and well built. Cooling is also well handled for a system of this size, helping maintain consistent performance and both the RAM and storage are user upgradable. Now the caveats. Under heavy workloads, the cooling system can become noticeable with fan noise increasing during gaming or sustained high performance tasks, but the system remains cool, which is definitely good news. So bottom line, the Minisforum UM890 Pro is ideal for power users and professionals who want strong performance in a compact mini PC. It's great for productivity, multitasking, light creative work, and multi-monitor setups, with the bonus of Oculink support for future external GPU upgrades. And for the price that this is currently selling for, you simply can't go wrong. So that's all for this video. Any questions, do let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews and videos, hit the like button, sub to the channel, and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.